What's up guys? Welcome to Innsbruck. It's finally winter. The Christmas markets are popping up right now. So I'm feeling very merry in the spirit of winter and ski season coming up. I thought I would give you guys a little bit of information about the local ski resorts and kind of review them. Now it's, I'm not ranking them. It's hard to say what's best and what's the worst because everyone has different interests, but I'm just going to tell you what's out there. If you're here on a vacation, you probably want to make informed decisions to help you decide where to go, where's best with the time that you have allotted for your trip, and just basically based on your personal interests, what kind of writing you like to do, what you're looking for as far as an experience of going up on the slope. First one I want to talk about is one of the local favorites, Aksamer Litsum. It's like a 20 minute ride away from town, 40 if you're on the bus, depending where you're staying, just look it up online and you can find the stop that'll take you straight there. It drops you off right at the parking lot, so it's very convenient. It's got 30 kilometers of slopes, 10 lifts. The longest run is 3.1 kilometers, and the most difficult slope is two kilometers with a vertical difference of 475 meters. There's a few reasons why Aksam or Litsum is really popular with the locals. One, there's huts throughout the mountains that give you a really authentic feel for the local culture. So locals even like going there. It's not the tourist trap type places. The view from the top is really beautiful as well. A lot of people call it the Tyrolean Dolomites, like the Dolomites in South Tyrol. Dolomite is my name. Uh, it's just these really jagged mountain formations. It's really beautiful for photos. Get your Instagram game up. So consider all these things when you're going there. The food at the very top, unfortunately, it's, it's not bad. I don't want to say it's bad but it's not great. It's not really the whole Tyrolean mountain hut flair. It's a buffet style restaurant. So you go there and you point at something, they put it on the plate for you. And then you go pay like you're at the supermarket, you know, at a cashier. So it's missing the, the little authentic vibe. <laughs> ski area I want to tell you about is Nordkette. Nordkette is probably the most popular, the most famous when it comes to tourism because it's right in town. You can literally walk from your hotel to the to the Congress station that takes you all the way up into the mountain. I ride my bike to the station in seven minutes I'm there and you know 20 or 30 minutes more I'm actually skiing. So that's super convenient for me. And that's one of the reasons why I really like going there. Locals go there before work very often because they can get in a couple couple of runs or after work or students. It's a university town, so a lot of students actually go up there before class or after class. Super convenient if you want to maybe go snowboarding and do other things, like ha do a half day of snowboarding and then a half day of other things if you're only here for a few days. Slope distance, 13.9 kilometers. It's really fun to go there if you're into off-piste, if you wanna go free riding. All my friends love doing that. Personally, I don't. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, that was so from. <laughs> There's five lifts. So compared to the other places, it's not so big. The most difficult is cutting it. It's super steep. Only go up there if you're an experienced rider. Do not go up there if you're inexperienced. You don't want to get hurt while you're traveling. So I'm at Nordkette. I came up to half of the car. And, uh, I'm kind of regretting my decision now. 